Building out a car, regardless of make or model, is tough, but you wanna know it's tougher. I'm gonna be honest, I just did this. Paying attention? You looking at me? <laughs> Eating a granola bar, one of the nature valleys, without making a mess. The damn thing is just, it's just too much. They gotta calm down, they gotta put some butter in there. Or maybe some peanut butter in there. Maybe that would, that would, maybe that would fix it, okay. Anyway, one of the other most difficult things in terms of a segue on a YouTube video is probably talking about how to make car things to match. It's something that's damn difficult and just getting everything to flow from like the front to the back. I mean, it's, it's, like you end up looking at a car when you do finish it and you're like, I, I like it a little bit. Like not a lot, but like, you know, I, I don't like it. I'm Alex, Alex at FI on Instagram. And today we're gonna be talking about the best car color combinations, both from the factory and or six feet. All right, and or through you building that bad puppy up from the ground. Cause guess what? We probably all should have just paid a little bit more attention in art class when it came to color combos because I've been looking out there and sometimes a little bit, a couple, two, three of our car builds start looking like the <laughs> wonk on the chocolate factory, myself included. And welcome, low wave, high wave. You didn't see that coming. It's early, okay? If you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe so we can keep making banging videos like this. We're low, low commitment, just like when you buy a box of ramen at the store for $2. You never know if you're actually gonna eat it, but it was $2, so really does it actually matter? Okay, and if you're looking for aftermarket wheels, tires, suspension, be sure to hit us up over at fitmentindustries.com where we literally have everything you're possibly little tiny or very, very big heart could imagine. And when it comes to paying attention in art class, they sometimes talk about like complementary colors and all that. We ain't, we ain't gonna do all that. First off, I don't even remember anything from art class. All I remember is that I made a baller clay piece of pie one time for my mom in fourth grade and she still has it on her oven. See it every single time I go back. There's even a little whipped cream on top, but that part kind of chipped off when I took it home in my backpack. It was very sad. I'm sad. That's sad. Probably the most iconic and easy to color combination to do is your classic white chassis black accents. Now you'll see this on a ton of cars, but sometimes people get scared of doing it because they end up upgrading to carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Okay, you don't have to actually go up to carbon fiber. Now carbon fiber is a good accent, but you have to do it everywhere if you wanna make it work. Gloss black or satin black are also awesome color options when you go with white. And you can usually go with like a white chassis and then black side skirts, a front lip, mirror caps, and a rear lip. Tint the windows around 20 to 35% and you're pretty much golden. If you have trim in a different color, like chrome or something like that, pop them off, paint them the same color and at the same time as your other parts so you get a consistent color across all your pieces. Now, a lot of times people want to do the white on the black and not the carbon fiber because it's actually very cost effective as well. Next up would be a fun one, which is probably gray on red. Now, Nardo gray is probably one of the most popular colors out there right now, but you can switch it up to be a primary red color with gray accents. I know all colors are gray. I made fun of it a little bit and I said I wanted more colorful colors and then I went and painted my own car gray. That was yesterday. I always imagine the Marlboro liveries when I think of white, red, and gray, but the color combination is killer to give the car a sports car high-end look. Lots of times you can use the aluminum panels versus just the color gray for like your caps, your trim pieces, and your fascia parts. You see this actually super commonly seen on Audi RS trims, but gray isn't horrible either. Red is notorious for being related to a sports car, and the gray breaks it up enough where you don't lose details, especially in coupe cars. When you look at a car that's all the same color, you lose a lot of differentiation. Interiors on red cars should stay dark to avoid too much red, especially if you're modifying it. Reason being is red is a very strong color and when using it as an interior color, you can quickly overcome anything else you have done to the car. Stick to stitching for loud colors, really, and the rest to match your exterior accent of aluminum or gray. If you have a bunch of plastic pieces in there and you wanna do something with them because they don't match, try to get them in the aluminum or the gray. Dark blue with bronze flake is always a banger and is probably seen the most on BMWs as they have one of the best color ranges for cars right now, right next to probably Porsche. While shiny colors seem cool, going with a bronze flake wheel that's more matte than gloss gives it a hyper functional look. And on newer BMWs as well, since they are so aggressive, you want the color to match the theme. Usually aggressive has a tendency to look more functional. Dark blue, black window tint, bronze flake wheels, and carbon as your accent, and you have your own mini show car that can have as much fun on, with the supercars on the track as you can when you take it to your local car show. Especially with the dark blue stuff, anything that has a darker tone, if you go with the flake for an accent color on your wheels, it looks beautiful. 
People seem to be drifting away from black cars because they can be a bit bland, but black with a power color, especially for your car, is a super good looking color combo to do. What's a power color, you might ask? I don't know, I made it up. And we're not talking about your graphics card, okay? We're talking about a pop of color, okay? That's not a definition, I don't know what you'd actually call it. Loud, bright, and in your face. Black cars with DDT or double dark tape wheels with like lime green calipers or orange calipers is super hot fire, okay? Bright colors can be tough to accent because your car can go from classy to, tra to not very classy pretty quick because bright colors are prone to look cheap when not done correctly, especially with powder coat. Keep your accents to the brakes inside of a spoke or even your wing plate ends if you have something that's like a wing or some sort of lip and keep the rest pretty minimal. Even the new rotiform wheels like the monoblocks put a little streak of color on the inside of the spoke to give you a little bit of flash, which is pretty neat. You can take a wheel like that and actually pair it to your caliper on a black car, double arc tint, go with the window tint, maybe put a banner on it and you are pretty much ready to fire. But what's your favorite color combo and what have you tried to match in the past and it just didn't work out? Let us know below. And of course, if you're looking for aftermarket wheels, tires or suspension, be sure to hit us up over at fitmentindustries.com. If you have an aftermarket car, don't forget to add it to our gallery at fitmentindustries.com forward slash add. I never paid attention in our class and I still don't think I regret it.